Hi, Samantha. Thanks for sending another question. To determine if this is a perfect square, we are again going to compare it to our two formulas for a plus b squared and a minus b squared. If this is a perfect square, this term right here is going to be a squared, so it looks, our a, looks like our a will be equal to x. And this term over here is going to be b squared, so it looks like our b in this case will be equal to 3. Now let's go ahead and compare the signs to see which formula it would apply to. Hmm, this is positive, this is positive, this is positive, so we're good. This is positive, this one's negative, but this one's negative, so we're good. So if this is a perfect square, we're going to be using this second formula here, and our a is going to be x, and our b is going to be 3. So if this is a perfect square, it should be x minus 3 squared. Let's go ahead and factor out x minus 3 squared to see if we get the same thing that they're giving us in the problem. So x minus 3 squared is just x minus 3 times x minus 3. If we go ahead and FOIL this out, we're going to get x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9 which gives us x squared minus 6x plus 9. That is not the same thing that we have up here. So this is not a perfect square. Thanks again for your question, Samantha, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.